I'm here to talk about adding new slides to a PowerPoint. Let's say we're doing this thing on tourism. You have some stuff that was written up in Word, maybe in PowerPoint. You can reuse things. I'm doing 2013. It works with earlier and newer versions. So what I have here, I could just say introduction. And let's say afterwards I want to add some stuff that I had typed up originally, okay? What I do here, I'm going on the Home tab. And then I click on a new slide, a drop down arrow. I say slides from outline. And you would have to browse. I have these already selected. I'm going to go into culture. And it's showing things in here that came in here. This is a link here. So we've got that. Now let's say we also want to add more information on Miss Seaport. We did a presentation here. You can reuse slides. I click at the bottom here, uh, or on the last slide, new slide, reuse slides. Again, I'm going to go into browse. I'm going to go into browse file. I have this here. Now, you can put in the source formatting. I prefer to keep the, have everything match. And what I'm just going to do, just don't uncheck, uncheck, don't leave this checked off. Click on this one. Then the next one, then the next one here. So what it does, it brings in things in. As you can see, things get a little bit funky. If we have, if I, I'm gonna just check this off here. I'm gonna put this into here. This is what it looked like before. If I go into here, it looks weird. And but I want it to match. All I have to do is maybe adjust the size of the picture, and then I can make this a little narrower position it so you have to be careful you want that to match okay and then I could just right click here delete that slide um, when you're doing this stuff this was done in Word okay and I want to show you this hold on this is how it was done in Word it you have use heading one for the top heading two for the bullets here now watch this. I'm going to undo what I just did here. What I want to do here, I'm just going to say, I'm going to put something else here. I'm just going to copy what I'm just going to do here, New Haven, Connecticut. And then I'm going to make this heading three. And I could just say many events depending on day. And then I want to go back to heading three here. You can see that's another color here. You would have to modify that style. What it does, when, it, when you bring this in from a Word file or a rich text file, you've got to have it formatted to match what you have in there, okay? I will show you that very briefly, too. Many events, depending on day, is a sub bullet under Tuesday through Sunday. And I'm going to say Saturday children events. And then I'll go over here, Wednesdays, Senior Citizens Special, heading three here, Thursday, with high school kids. As you can see, this is blue. I'm going to just right-click inside any of these here, right-click here. I'm going to say Modify. And I want to make it an auto color here, or let's say I'm just going to make this bright orange, just so you can see what happens. These are all orange. What I'm going to do here, save out of this, go back into here. I'm going to import this stuff again. You're going to see this. I go into new slide, slides from outline, culture. Let's scroll down here. See how you get the sub bullet points in there? I don't need these last three things here. You can move things around if you need to. One other thing you can see here, you got this line here. And I have no idea how that line got in there. If I pull this out, it's a little graphic, a little tricky. You gotta click right on it. What I'm gonna do is just pull this down here. Oh, that's part of the template. Sorry. No, it is not. 
So what I would do here, just to show you this, it gets tricky, trust me, okay? And then I'm just going to go on the Home tab. I'm going to go on the Layout here. And it's Title and Content here. And now it rearranges things here. And I move this over. Adjust this. Pull this up. You got that over there. And if you have a Title and Content, they do have that line there. You can't remove it unless you go into the master. When you're doing this stuff here, importing either from a Word document or another PowerPoint slide, reuse or inserting. I'll show you this again here. Slides from outline, that's Word. Reuse slides is PowerPoint. That's it. Pretty easy. Pay attention to what you're doing. You could save a lot of time.